Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 650, we're going to not talk about Linvala, Shield of Seagate. Okay, so Linvala, 3 mana, 3-3 three, three flying angel wizard. Cool. You know, the wizard's going to matter later, I guess. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party... Choose target non-land permanent and opponent controls until your next turn. It can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Uh, you can sack Linvala, choose Hexproof or Indestructible. Creatures you control gain that ability at the end of turn. Uh, that last ability is the only useful thing on the card to me. I am not a huge fan of the party mechanic. I don't, I don't think they fleshed it out enough. Um, they're... I don't feel, to me, there wasn't enough to build, you know, a 100-card deck with. So, maybe after we get the Forgotten Realms expansion, maybe. But I had to build Linvala, and I want, didn't want anything to do with the party mechanic. So, uh, as of this point, we're done talking about Linvala, other than the fact that she is blue and white. Now, what this is, is this is an Enchantress deck. No other way to look at it. We've got blue-white enchanters. Um, now, green-white is the most popular version. Um, I think blue-white, the last blue-white enchantment style deck I did was Bruna. Way, way back in like uh, the single-digit decks or whatever. But that was all aura-based. And this is just straight-up blue-white enchantment. So... Got opalescence uh, to turn them into creatures, obviously, and we have um, uh, Starfield of Nyx, Sigil of the Empty Throne, of course, to make our angels. Uh, but let's get to let's start off with our mana fixing, shall we? We have Soul Ring, Talisman of Progress. Mindstone, Prismatic Lens, Sky Diamond, Marble Diamond, Commander Sphere, Pristine Talisman, and Azorius Locket. That seems like a bunch, doesn't it? Um, that that may be a little much. As far as uh, card draw, I've got a Thought Reflection. Of course, this is a you know ultimately this is a big seven seven beater that doubles your card draw. Now. I only have, what is this, six creatures in the deck? You guessed it. Mesa Enchantress is one. Uh, Monk Idealist to get an enchantment back. Auromancer to get an enchantment back. A Johnny's Chosen has the enchantment fall. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do they call enchantment fall? Constellation, I guess. And then we have the two archetypes of courage and of imagination. So they are actually enchantments that will trigger your enchantment stuff now. And even though they are not enchantments, we can totally make it with Enchanted Evening to where everything's an enchantment. Um, now, the reason why so few creatures is Enduring Renewal. That way you don't have to skip and when, so Enduring Renewal, if you draw a creature, you don't draw that creature. So there's not six in the deck. So that reduces, you know, that's what, 6% chance. So uh, if any of our creatures are in, or are animated enchantment creatures die, then they will come back to our hand. So, um, let's look at some enchantment, shall we? Uh, we have Sphere of Safety. Of course, this is insane in an enchantment deck. Um, Spiritual Asylum is going to keep us, uh, you know, our creatures in lands pretty safe. Uh, Ruined Halo. Uh, protection from a commander is not the worst thing in the world. You know, the one commander that you can't deal with. Yep, I think I'll do that. And then we have Pariah 
to put on. Maybe we get lucky enough somebody's got an indestructible creature and we can just throw the pariah on there and we just don't take damage after that point. Um, Inner Sanctum. Yeah, it could matter, could not, you know. Uh, Teferi's Tutelage. Telepathy. Let's let's see what everybody's got because that'll help uh, choosing what uh, what we counter because we have a lot of removal. Levitations, of course, it's going to make all, all of our enchantments fly once they become creatures. Glorious Anthem makes them bigger. I have increasing devotion in there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a card out of place. It, it looks like, but uh, just the sheer amount of token generation, not bad. Now, circles of protection. I'm using black, red, and green because those are the three colors that we're not. And um, yeah, that covers most of what people are playing. I, you know, it's hard for me to justify running a circle of protection white. <laughs> I mean, it just really is. So I think the circles are underused. Um, you can spend a mana and not take that commander damage, or uh, multicolor cards are very, very popular in our format. So, uh, you know, if there's even a green pip in them, it's green. So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, here's some more. We have shrines. Now, granted, uh, we're only running two colors, so we've only got, you know, four of them. We have the Honda of the Cleansing Fire, Honda of Seeing Winds. Sanctum of Calm Waters and Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Um, noble Purpose. Because you control those combat damage, you gain that much life. Of course, this is probably going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Mirror Maid. Uh, now, Angelic Ascension. I'll admit, this is a trial run for this card. I'm having trouble with it. Exile Target Creature Planeswalker. Its controller creates a 4-4 four, four Angel. Now, for two mana to exile a creature or a walker, that's it. That's not bad. But giving them a 4-4, four, four, um, I guess it depends on what you're getting rid of. You're straight exiling it. I would a lot rather them have a 4-4 four, four angel than a blightsteel, right? Or, you know, some kind of insane combo piece that... So... We have opened the vaults to get all the enchantments back. Uh, Idealic Tutor to tutor some up. I've got a couple of auras, you know, Righteous Authority is some more card draw, and, you know, it makes something huge, probably our commander. Uh, ethereal armor and all that glitters do work. Now, let's look at removal, shall we? Uh, let's do the enchantment-based removal. What I'm talking about is stuff like Confiscate. It's an enchantment. Now, granted, uh, it's not a global enchantment, so it won't turn into a creature when uh, Opalescence comes down. It is a local enchantment. That was a old distinction. A global enchantment was one that played on the table, and a local enchantment was one that attached to another permanent. Now we just call them enchantments and then auras. Um, control magic. Oblivion ring. Faith's Fetters. And then we get into, you know, regular style removal. You know, we got Winds of Wrath. Uh, now, obviously, we know when we're going to cast the uh, turn our enchantments into creatures spells. So uh, we can, you know, wipe the board before then with uh, Winds of Wrath or Slash the Ranks, Marshall Coup. Um, Citywide bust. But then we've got spot removal. Everybody's favorite spot removal. Negate. Counterspell. Mana Leak doesn't see a lot of play in Commander. And, you know, people tap out all the time. Um, Dovin's Veto. I mean, it's, it's a great card for the colors. Uh, Disenchant. Uh, Divine Offering. Celestial Purge. And demystify. And that brings us to our non basic lands, of which, oh man, that's a bunch. Um, yeah, here again, no particular order. Uh, 
Meandering River. Tranquil Cove is just for colors, of course. Command Tower. Slotty Command Tower. Um, Evolving Wilds. Thriving Heath. Azorus Chancery. Secluded Step. Cycle away if we don't need it. Temple of False God. Rupture Spire. Azorus Guildgate. Thriving Isle. Terramorphic Expanse. Glacial Floodplain. And Hingegate Pathway. Um, Tectonic Edge, because I firmly believe that every single deck needs a way to deal with problematic non-basics. Uh, there are a bunch out there, and they can wreak havoc on your strategy if you don't have an answer for them. So, I try to include at least one, like... Uh, in green decks, we've got, what, a six slime, so that helps a bunch. If we just need to pop a Maze of Ith or whatever it is. Uh, Rogue's Passage, because, you know, commander damage is a thing. It, it could totally happen. You slap all the glitters on Linvala, and, I mean, you could accidentally get there with commander damage. And then, lastly, we have Reliquary Tower. And I know, I know, when you saw Linvala, this is not what you had, had pictured. Uh, I, I tried all this time. I have tried to come up with something for Linvala, and I looked through the whole ZNR and tried to find, and other than just every single party card in those two colors, but limiting it down to two colors was really, really my problem. So that's why I didn't do it. Oop, that, I, I bet that was loud. So, we are going to take Linvala over here to the wall, number 650, and finish a row. I like it. We're halfway done with uh, with that block. Whew. That's a bunch. That's a bunch. Anyway, that is what I have got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching, liking. Uh, shout out, thank you to all the patrons. And um, that's what I've got for today. So until next time, we will shuffle and cut.